Goldstacorn here, and today I will be sharing with you what I consider to be the best start for Walkmar the Grim on legendary difficulty with no mods in Immortal Empires. In this guide I will be showing you how to kill Manfred early and make a military alliance with Cetra. So on turn 1, before you move your army, you can recruit an Ogre Bull unit if you want. It isn't necessary, but it can make the following battles a tiny bit easier. Attach your hero, attack the first enemy army and fight the battle manually to take as few casualties as possible. Afterwards attack the enemy settlement, same thing, fight it manually and occupy the settlement. After occupying the settlement, recruit a Huntsman General and start recruiting two more free company militia with Volkmar. Put the commandment to increase local recruit capacity, start putting points into Volkmar's battle prayers and make sure to get second nature before you start putting his points into anything else. Begin researching technologies, I usually go for the one that increases your public order and growth, but you can also start researching the technology that gives you ammunition to your missile infantry. Both are good, and end the turn. Turn 2, move both lords toward Antak and start recruiting 3 more free company militia, and end the turn. Over the end turn, Manfred will attack and occupy Antak, and you will be in a position to kill him afterwards. Turn 3, you will declare war on Manfred, and if you don't want his trait on Volkmar, I would suggest attacking him with the Huntsman General. Just don't make the same mistake as I did and not put any units into the Huntsman's army as the game crashed four times for me before I realized it might be the case that the game is not working properly and having a lone stalking unit might be causing crashes. So make sure to put at least some units into the Huntsman's army. Anyways, just take a defensive position, draw in the fast units using your Huntsman General and Witch Hunter, just make sure you don't get them killed. The battle is more intimidating than it is difficult. After dealing with their fast units, target fire any blobs with the mortars, cycle charge with your cavalry and win the battle. You will then occupy the settlement and transfer all of the units into the Huntsman's army and have him be in the settlement. You will then rank up survival techniques for him for the extra casualty replenishment rate. If the settlement has no buildings when you occupy it, you should also construct the income building. Start recruiting two more archers and end the turn. Turn 4, you will use the Huntsman to attack Bagar and move Volkmar close to the Huntsman General, like so. and transfer a few units into the army. I would suggest the same units as I did in this example. Then you can auto resolve the battle if you didn't take massive casualties in the previous one. and force march Volkma towards Kasabar. Start recruiting free company militia with the Huntsman's General as Bagar usually has a barracks in it and end the turn. Turn 5 you can besiege Kasabar with Volkmar and look for Manfred's second army. If the army does something as stupid as in this campaign you will be fine. But if they started going towards Antak, you will have to recruit a new lord there and start recruiting more units to prevent them from taking the settlement. Here I also recruited a general just to make sure they don't go for Bgar. Bring in the second army and fight the siege. The battle is fairly easy, just set up in a blind spot for the enemy towers, break down the gates, 
have the enemy blob up around the gates and just bomb them with the mortars and shoot them with your archers. If you're enjoying the video thus far, I am some 100 subscribers away from becoming monetized, so if you could subscribe for future content, it would greatly help me out. Now back to the video. Occupy or loot and occupy the settlement. It depends on you. Start recruiting two more free company militia and end the turn. Turn 6, you will beat the second army. Just make sure you take no damage. Afterwards, go into diplomacy and offer to join war against the Necrarch Brotherhood with Cetra for a non aggression pact. Then attack Springs of Eternal Life and fight the battle manually. The biggest threat to you in this battle is the Terrorgeist, so try to lure it towards you and shoot it down. The rest of the battle is just more of a melee grind. Occupy the settlement and start researching technologies. Disband the third lord, if you also recruit him. I send the huntsman general back to Kasabar and end the turn. Turn 7 you will move Volkmar to where you want to go. And sell the settlement to Cetra for a military alliance. From here on out I would recommend you go towards Rapans and conquer everything in that area. Fighting Cetra is, in my opinion, a massive mistake and you should just make peace with him if not form an alliance. As if you fight him, you will meet Scarbrand and Wurzag, which will lead to you not being able to progress your campaign whatsoever. Having a military alliance with Cetra also means you will be able to recruit some free units, which can help you out. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe for future content. Thank you all for watching and until next time. Thor and Spore fights as one.